why does my dog act aggressive towards other dogs? Again, another very popular uh, question that we get asked here at Falco Canine Academy. You know, most of the dogs that come to us with this behavior, um, they've usually gotten kicked out of other dog training facilities. <laughs> so they come to us saying, hey, this dog, this, this trainer that I was at recommended I come to you because this dog uh, wasn't allowed to be in his particular training. Well, the, the truth of the matter, it's not unlike many other things like, you know, the dog's failing to heal or coming back when you call them. It is a, a feeling that the dog has that you are not a strong enough leader or one that he can trust when he's out in public and, and is meeting a new dog for the first time. Now, this particular aggression, aggression that I'm going to talk about is when you're out for a walk and he sees a dog for the first time. Uh, we, we're going to address the other stuff as far as aggression, maybe at home with another dog that's in the pack. But as far as this question, this is one that people ask us about you know, because they want to take their dog for a walk or they want to take their dog to the beach. And what they're afraid of is their dog, who they know is aggressive towards other dog, is going to get into a fight and cause damage or something like that. And the reason this, again, occurs is because this dog has been led to believe that when they're out in uh, the open or out on a walk, uh, that that's his job. His job is to find danger, which can be perhaps another dog, um, and the dog has the ability or has the uh, the self-initiative uh, self uh, that has been somehow given to him by you that he's allowed to do this. The dog must learn eventually that he is not allowed to do that. No matter if he has the uh, genetic makeup that causes him to do it or if it's something he's learned um, from being around you or around the family or maybe he learned with a previous family because he's a rescue dog that this behavior of acting aggressive or trying to scare off danger, which is right now other dogs, is something that needs to be controlled through your obedience and for you, through you teaching that you are a leader. When you're out for a walk, this dog will learn that he doesn't have permission to protect you from other dogs. Um, some dogs become breed specific. And so what happens is, and this is just one example of what can happen, is that the human is not intimidated by little dogs. So in this particular case, a dog will ignore little dogs or ignore dogs that show them, uh, you know, no eye contact or doesn't flag with their tail or whatever. But then you have a propensity to be slightly nervous around Rottweilers, German Shepherds, certain types of Dalmatians or something like that. And your dog can become breed specific, not necessarily because of what's going on with them, but what is going on with you. So those kinds of issues come, come up too. So to answer your question, sometimes we feed down the leash or feed down to the dog that these dogs that are approaching, you become concerned about them. Another very popular reason why this occurs is because, say for instance, maybe one of your past dogs was dog aggressive, or maybe this dog has shown some interest, and now what happens is as you see a dog, you begin to choke up on the leash, or you begin to wrap the leash around your hand, or start to pull back as soon as you see another dog. What that is, is a signal to the dog that you are afraid of what is approaching. Now the dog doesn't know that what it is you're afraid of is that your dog is going to get a hold of him. He doesn't know that. He only knows that you are suddenly getting tight and tense and scared or worried and he perceives that it's the threat. The threat is the other dog that's common. And so there's going to be some things that we would suggest to you that you need to change. That you need to start to become more relaxed when you see another dog. And if your dog becomes aggressive, then you need to act accordingly, whether that's through a correction or shift the dog's attention and reward him for showing a, uh, a focus on something else other than the other dog. And so those techniques can be tackled in, in, our, in our books or in future free videos that you're going to see uh, on our website. So make sure and look for those. But the reason your dog is th showing aggression to other dogs often is, um, is put off by some of the things that we're doing and some of the baggage that we're carrying as we go for our walk. And we can simply fix those things by changing that and altering that signal we're giving the dog. Also by being a better leader teaching the dog that he does not have that responsibility and we don't give him permission to have that responsibility. All right, so look at our free videos that we have on our website. Uh, check out some of our books. That's Falco Canyon Academy. If you have any other questions, give us a call and uh, there's probably a way that we can help you out with your dog. That seems to be our specialty is dog aggression and human aggression. All right, so give us a call.